Lynn Allen here. Welcome to another AutoCAD tip courtesy of Catalyst Magazine. All right, we spent a lot of time opening files, doing a save as selecting files, going into the select file dialog box. All right, have you customized it and set it up to work exactly the way you need it to work for maximum efficiency? All right, that's what we're gonna do today, just in case you haven't. All right, so I'm gonna go into the open, let's just go up into the open command because this will take me into the select file dialog box. There it is right there. And I need to very quickly access my files, right? So hopefully over here on the left-hand side, you have customized your places list. That's what this light blue area is over here. It's called the places list. Now it comes with a bunch of directories you probably could care less about. And by all means, if there's a directory on here that you don't care about, you can easily do a right click and you can remove that directory. So do that. If they give you a list, if they give you a directory you're not interested in, right click, and remove it, right? Maybe you never go to the desktop you could remove that for example now i have a couple of directories on here let's see i got one called drawings and this actually is taking me to my autocad 2019 files that's not clear at all is that clear i'm going to do a right click and i'm going to go to properties let's give it a name that makes sense let's go to autocad 2019 so if i'm demoing a feature inside of autocad 2019 that's the directory that i go to and let's see what happens here. This is taking me to, oh, my AutoCAD 2020 files. So once again, I'm gonna do a right click. I'm gonna go to properties. I'm gonna give this baby a name that also makes sense. All right, that's good, I'm organized now. But if I very quickly need to go to my 2019 files, look how easy this is, right? Very, very simple. All right, well, Lynn, how did you get them there to begin with, that would be a key piece of information. All right, no problem. I'm gonna go to my Dropbox files, which incidentally is new to 2020, right? Being able to add Dropbox in and OneDrive in your cloud apps over to your places list, also very cool technology, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and go to my Dropbox. I'll show you how to do that. And let's go, well, let's go way back. Let's go to AutoCAD 2011. And let's go to these files and let's say I wanna put this directory in my places list. I think the easiest way to do this is just you're gonna go find that directory and then do a right click and say add current folder. And there it is. Now, I don't like the name of that one either. So I'd probably go into properties and once again, change it so that it's a little more obvious. Now, these are my AutoCAD 2011 files, oh yeah. And once you get these set up, remember you can, whenever you go forward to newer releases, you can tell it that you wanna make sure you take your places list with you. It will do that, you know, unless you tell it not to. So you don't have to ever do this again, which is good, because we don't like repeating ourselves, do we? All right, what else have I got on here? The, there is a nice history option on here. If you've never used that before, it keeps track of your previously used files, which is a handy way in case you lost them some other way. It's just another option for you to find those files that you were recently using. And uh, I promised you that I'd show you how to grab, right? How to grab your, uh, your, new, your cloud apps. Here is Dropbox, here's OneDrive. Let's click on OneDrive and then very easily right click and then of course add current folder and there it is there's OneDrive just hanging out right there so now i got OneDrive. i've got dropbox down here and you can move these guys around too i wish dropbox was up there you can so you can put the most important ones on the top maybe if you never use desktop you might want to move that baby down whatever the situation is you can organize these to work the way you want to work and should you do that oh yeah you should totally do that you want it maximized so you can get your jobs done, you can get out of the office, and you can, I don't know, go fishing. Do you go fishing? Do you fish? I don't know. I don't fish, but maybe someday I want to go fishing. <laughs> anyway, hope you, hope you learned something from this tip, and I hope to see you back here in two more weeks. All right? All right. Have a good October.